Hi guys, I'm Tessa and today is day 26 of our total body workout challenge. We have a low impact, no jumping at all cardio hit workout. So today's gonna be fun. I've done this before, but we've got a little bit more of an intensity, bring it up a notch. So we're doing each move 45 seconds each. We'll get a 15 second rest, rest in between in each circuit. We're gonna do two times through back to back with no full rest. We've got three circuits. I don't think we need any weights today. It's just gonna be you, your body, me, your playlist. Go ahead and get that set before we get started. I've got no music on our workouts. That's on purpose, so you can work out to your favorite music while you work out with your favorite trainer, me. All right, so go ahead and get that set. Grab your water and let's do this. Okay, so like I said, we'll be doing every move for 45 seconds. We'll get a 15 second break in between each move. We'll do each circuit two times through and then you'll get your full break. Our first move, I'm gonna go ahead and set us up. We will be doing a squat reach, reaching down and then reaching up. Make sure to keep that chest straight up. Get ready to do this in three, two, one, let's go. Shoot those arms all the way up overhead. Keeping that chest up as that booty goes down into a nice deep squat. <clears throat> oh man, I'm already tired. All right, ding, ding, we have double squat, squat, bounce, bring it up, and then lift those heels off of the ground for a calf raise, getting ready, and go. As you double bounce, try to get that core squeezing, that lower back flat, and try to go a little bit deeper each Time. Woo! All right, next up we have a touch the floor into a nice deep lunge. Step, kick with the same leg that you are lunging on. Whew. Halfway through, we're gonna switch legs, get ready, and go. Power through the heel. Working that hamstring, working that core as you kick, tucking those hips under. Switch, legs. This is our first round. We wanna make sure that we get that form down. All right. We're gonna with climbers. Mountain climbers, basic mountain climbers, high plank position, abs pulling in, wrists underneath those shoulders, chest nice and wide, hips tucked under, bringing those knees in. Go to the chest. Make sure that belly button is pulling in up into your spine, supporting that lower back, and keep a nice, even pace. Try your best not to come down. 
Keep it up, keep it up. You've got three, two, one. Ha! All right. Whew, we're gonna repeat those four moves back to back. You know it now. Starting with that squat, step, and reach. Go. Try your best to pick up that pace without sacrificing your form. We have skater with a knee. We're going to be gliding, stepping to the side. We're going to reach back with that back leg as we reach down into like a, a half lunge deadlift, I don't know, position. We're going to be reaching down. Make sure this back stays nice and flat. No rounding out. All right. I don't care if you're up here as long as this knee is bent. You're sitting into this hip and this back remains flat. Obviously, we want to try to get as low as we can, but we're working towards that, right? So, stepping, gliding, we're gonna bring that knee up, replace, glide, bring that knee up. All right, that's round one, your little cheat sheet of the day. Let's get us started. Let's go. Remember to drive that knee up using that move to tighten that core in crunch midair.
Get ready for your break. All right, crab, knee, twist for me up here. Opposite knee to elbow and then toe. Switch, elbow and then toe. Let's go. My shoulders are on fire. Don't give up. Keep it going. All right. Whew. Next move, we have our inchworm push up. We're going to walk our hands out. High plank, we're going to push up. Walk our hands up, reaching up to the sky. I show you, but I'm tired. Let's go. Underneath those shoulders. All right. Last move in this circuit, we have a lat pull with our butt kick. We'll be stepping out, arms up, kicking that booty as you drag those elbows in, squeezing your back muscles. Oh, let's go. Bringing those arms all the way up next to your ears. Driving those heels into that booty. that crab toe touch bring it down ready lift and go full body move. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling it every single place. Three, two, last one, get it in. 
okay. We have our inchworm push up. Check that form. We only got 45 seconds. Make it your best. Bringing those bellies all the way down to the floor. Exhale as you push up. Fifteen more seconds. Make a count. And time. All right, we have our lat pull and kick. Keeping that chest up as you reach those arms overhead. Bring them nice and close to your ears. Let's go. sheet for that first move. We're going to be starting with a side to side lunge. Stepping side, toes pointed forward, hips go back, bring it together, alternating legs, ready. Oh, it's sweaty. Let's go. Once you have that form down, I want you to really focus on picking up that speed. This is a cardio workout. We've got Five more seconds. Into a high plank Superman. We're gonna be alternating arms, feet, feet. High plank, chest open, shoulders underneath above your wrists. You're gonna lift, lift, up and up. Let's go. Lift, lift. One at a time. Bringing that arm as high as you can get it. Those feet as high as you can get it, keeping those legs straight. As you replace your hands, make sure they're right underneath those shoulders. We're almost there. We've got five, four, three, two, whoo. Squat. High knee, twist. Same thing here, squat, bringing that knee in. Sorry, we're gonna add that twist at the top. Let's go. Once you get that move in, 
Pick it back, pace. Against the floor, go. As you reverse crunch, make sure your feet do not go past your belly button, that you're reaching up and out, away from your body. And 15 second break. We've got one more round, folks, and we are done. Holy. Can y'all see the sweat? Look at this sweat. Can you see it? Oh my God. Let's go. Side to side lunge. Last round. Putting a smile on my face because I'm almost done for the day. <sighs> Try to squat or lunge deeper. Push off a little harder. Give it your best. It's your last chance. Into that high plank, Superman awfulness that I'm putting you through. I'm so sorry, but we're doing it together. Ooh, I'm sweaty. Let's go.
keeping those shoulders relaxed. Your upper body is going to want to compensate and tense all up near your neck. Try your best to release that and send all the energy down into your core. We've got 10 seconds. And time. Oh, beautiful. We made it. All right. Grab your water. Let's go ahead and get a mini cool down stretch in while I have you. Go ahead and grab onto the back of your, or the top of your foot. Point that knee down into the ground. Shake it out, other side. That's a sweaty one, you guys. Good, go ahead and reach up. And falling forward and just let it all go. Relax the neck, the shoulders, your upper body, your jaw. Go ahead and give me a flat back looking up. Releasing, grabbing onto your ankles and pulling your upper body as close into your legs as possible for that nice hamstring stretch. Oh, doesn't that feel so good? Go ahead and step one foot back. So we are in a triangular pose. And we can give an extra little stretch here. Lower into a runner's lunge, twisting toward your stand, your front leg, reaching up, giving that lower back a nice little hug. Release, step forward, go ahead and switch legs. We'll do the same thing here, rest into that front leg. If you need to have your hands here on your shin or your knee, remember, go at your level of flexibility. I've been, I've been stretching my whole life, so it's okay that my flexibility doesn't look like yours. Go ahead and bend back, I mean, remove that, what am I saying? <laughs> Step back into the runner's lunge, twisting toward that front leg, reaching up to the sky. And now the sweat is dripping off of my nose. Release, stepping forward. Give your legs one more tug. Look up halfway. Release, and then roll your body all the way up to stand. Let's go ahead and roll out our head. In reverse. Arms moving back and forth. Give you a nice little stretch here. I have, I literally have, okay, yeah, dripping sweat. Go ahead and hook your arm and really pull into that. Oh, I feel that all in my tricep shoulder back area. Switching arms. That's it. That's all I've got for you. Thanks so much, you guys, for joining me. I am drenched. I hope you are too. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out, and I really, really appreciate it. Go ahead and like and comment. Let me know how you did. I love to hear your feedback, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want more of. So, thanks so much, you guys. I really appreciate it. I'm Tessa. This is my channel. This is me. 
and all of my sweaty glory. Thanks for joining me.